I see in my feed on social media a lot promises that I can make you six figures. This is the sales funnel that's going to work for you. This is the business model you need to have to get you to six figures. And then I meet a lot of women who are scaling to seven figures. And I have to admit there's a little part of me that dies inside because I don't know that I want a six-figure business. I don't know that I want a seven-figure business. I'm just really happy with the business I have right now. I have a boutique business where I make enough money to pay all the bills in my business and serve myself and do work that I love to do with time to do it. And if I race to six figures, am I better? Am I living a better life? And a lot of my clients will hide from their business because they're like, you know, I just want a small business. And they seem like there's shame in that. And I'm here to talk to you today, especially if you are an emerging entrepreneur, if you're a baby entrepreneur, I want you to know you have to get started and it doesn't matter if you're on the road to six figures or not. There are women out there who are, who are craving making six figures. They have a business plan. They're ready to go to six figures. They've got everything in order. They've got all the help that they need. It's rough. It is not easy to get there. And it can feel depleting if in your mind you're like, I don't really want a six-figure business. I want to bring my idea to life. I want to make my dream real. I want to help people. And I want to make money. I want to be paid for myself. But I don't necessarily want to race to six figures. And I want to say, I'm, I want to give you permission to have the business you want to have. Do you want to make six figures and have that kind of a business? Please go for it. And I'm happy to help you get there. But if you want a small business, one that feeds you and so you can support yourself doing it and it, it brings you joy, there is no shame in that. And I ask you, how many notes do you see in your feed driving you to six figures? If that doesn't feel good to you, please mute those. Please hide them. Please stop those ads from coming your way because it doesn't mean that you don't have a business if you're not racing toward the six-figure mark. I have several clients who love their businesses deeply and at the same time, they are busy moms. They are busy volunteers. They are busy with lots of things in their life. They don't even have more than two hours a day to give to their business. In reality, like I make my clients look at their time and in reality, they're doing literally the best they can. And for some of them, it's two hours a day. And I know that there are people out there making six and seven figures and upwards of eight figures who are telling you right now, I run my six figure business in two hours a day, or I run my six figure business working three days a week. And perhaps they do, but they did not at the beginning of their business. Cause so that is complete BS. And I want you to stop taking the BS from other people and making it your own. I want you to stop saying my business needs to look like her business or it needs to look like his business because it does not. If your business feeds you, if it makes you happy, if it makes you the money that you're looking for or that you need, if your business doesn't bring you fear, but it brings you joy and fulfillment, then that is enough. I got a text the other day from a friend of mine who's like kind of pointing out a coach that we used to follow or that I used to follow and she still follows him. And he was like, he's hawking something else. And the, the messaging is more, 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 uh, bigger planes, fancier apartment, uh, you know, high end, um, high end luxury wear. And it doesn't speak to me. Like, that's not what I want my business to be. That's not what I want my life to be about. And I, I texted her back and I'm like, to what end? How many clients are we supposed to have? How big do we have to scale? Does it, when are we ever satisfied? And so I really want you to think when you're creating your business and you're growing your business, even if you're in the middle of your business and you're telling yourself, I need to scale, I need to scale, I need more, more, more. I'm going to ask you to what end will it make you happy? Will it make you happy to have a big six figure business or a seven figure business? And if the answer is no, then I want you to understand that is fine. 
So I'm here to tell you, you can have the business of your dreams and it might look like a humongous business. You might look, it might look like one of the big name businesses, but it might be a boutique business and that might be enough for you. But please, regardless of what you want, stop hiding from it. Stop telling yourself that you can't have it because I have clients who are running their businesses, their their, their dream businesses, and they're doing it in the time that they can carve out for it. You don't have to work 70 hours a week if you don't want to. And you don't have to work 40 hours a week if you don't want to. Your business does not have to look like anybody else's business, but it does require you to show up. So this is October. October is a great time to show up. It's before the holidays. It's before we all start talking about, oh, it's Thanksgiving and now it's Christmas and now it's New Year's. I'll just wait to 2020. Don't wait. Get started. And if you need help getting started, because I did, oh my God, I wish I had known then what I know now, then you deserve support with this. And that is my specialty, teaching women how to get their businesses started with the life that they have. So I'm going to put a link in the comments. I'm also doing several free workshops this month about this topic. I'm going to put links to the the free workshop in my in my comments, but I would really like you to think about the business that you want, not the business you think you should have. Please stop shooting all over yourself. My name is Jen Liddy. If I haven't said that before, I am a business development coach and I'm here to help you have a business that works with your life. Thanks for stopping, stopping by. Thanks for shopping by. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.